Sharks are one of the most fascinating species on our planet, and among them, the great hammerhead shark is probably the most authentic and singular creature that has ever lived. My name is Zimi, I'm a film director, photographer and ocean conservationist. We're here in Bimini, in the Bahamas, which is an absolutely unique place because this is one of the only places in the entire world where we can constantly see great hammerhead sharks. Our goal here is to dive with these sharks, interact with them and use 360 cameras to get unique perspectives of our interactions with these apex predators. We also want to use this footage to raise awareness about the great hammerhead sharks, which are critically endangered sharks, and also to let people know more about sharks in general. My name is Logan, I'm a shark feeder and I run specialized shark dives with tiger sharks and great hammerheads. So I was very blessed to be able to grow up in the Bahamas and start diving with these sharks from a young age. And from the first moment I got to meet these sharks and then I understood what the rest of the world thought about them and the kind of pressure that they were under, immediately for me it became kind of my whole entire passion. Um, getting to spend time with them and then getting to share how they really are with the rest of the public, it's um, the greatest thing that's ever happened in my life. So for this shoot, we're using 360 cameras and to be exact, we're using the brand new Insta360 X3. We have them mounted absolutely everywhere. So we have some here in front of the main camera housing, with this one, we're gonna be able to capture ourselves, capturing the action, but we're also gonna be able to capture the sharks when they're in front of us. We also have mounted some on the arm here with a ball mount, that way we can capture different perspectives of us from the side. And we're also gonna use the 360 cameras on our mass to capture our point of view. And using the 360 camera, we can get like a super wide angle so we can clearly see the entire environment of us interacting with the sharks. So right now, we're out here at the Great Hammerhead dive site in front of South Bimini. Um, we're doing some surface chumming and we've already got some nurse sharks around. We're hoping that this scent trail will get carried out and we'll have some hammerheads show up shortly as well. I really feel like there's a lot of misinformation around shark feeding. Um, I can't say that all shark feeding is good, but when it's done in the proper setting and done safely, it has far more benefits than it does negatives. I can tell you for a fact that we are not changing these great hammerheads migration routes. We could go out there and we could put a whale carcass, we could put all the chum in the whole entire world. These sharks are still gonna go on their migration pattern. There is no way that we are affecting what they are gonna still do as sharks. All right guys, I just saw a big dark shadow out there. It looks like we've got Gaia, so let's go ahead and get geared up and get in there. If everyone could at least once in their life dive and see these animals in real life, our entire perception of them would completely change. It would go from complete fear to respect and fascination.
So here in the Bahamas, we became a shark sanctuary in 2011, and that is solely based off of the fact that economically, sharks here are worth more alive than dead. And the shark diving here became that important to the government that they decided to protect the sharks completely here in the Bahamas. Shark diving is one of the most important thing when it comes to shark conservation, because when done properly, this is probably the only way to make sharks financially worth more alive than dead. There are thousands of people coming here to the island every single year to dive with these sharks. So obviously they're gonna spend money at the dive shop to go out and see these sharks, but they're also gonna spend money in shops, in hotels, in restaurants. So there's an entire community that is making a living thanks to these sharks that are here, that are protected and that are, that are alive and thriving. On the other hand, if you go out and you fish for sharks, you go out, you kill the shark, you sell it, you make money once, and then the shark is gone. With diving, you go out, you take people diving, you make money once, the next day you go out, the shark is still here, the shark is still alive, and you're gonna still make money thanks to these sharks. So it's a way more sustainable way to make money, and it's a way to promote shark conservation and to promote diving and protecting species instead of killing them to make more money. So with the Great Hammerhead specifically, it's really important that the Bahamas is a sanctuary because at least for six months out of the year, they get uh, an area that they can live in and thrive in where they are protected and not going to be fished. After that, they go on their own migration route. Some of them go different directions, but a lot of them go to use the um, eastern seaboard of the United States, which has a very big long line industry that either targeted or accidental. If a hammerhead, a great hammerhead, scalloped hammerhead, if any of them get on those lines, they are highly susceptible to dying more than any other shark. Hammerheads are critically endangered species. They are one of the most endangered. And the reason for that is that they are highly susceptible to stress, meaning that when they get hooked on a line, they have a very low survival rate. If they stay hooked for more than 15, 20 minutes on the line, there are like more than 90% chances that they're gonna die because they fight so much against the line to get free that they build too much lactic acid in their muscles which is gonna change their entire body chemistry and even if you unhook them and let them go they most probably gonna die a couple miles later so this is the reason why they are highly endangered and there are scientists saying that within the next 30 years we could actually lose all of the great hammerhead sharks on our planet When we are in the water, sharks are obviously attracted by the baits we're using, but they can also be attracted by shiny objects such as the domes of the cameras. The reason for that is that first of all, the sun is reflecting on a dome, but it is also believed that sharks can actually see their own reflections inside the domes. So we're gonna try and use it in our advantage to get unique perspectives of the sharks. Hopefully the sharks are gonna try and get after the smaller dome of the 360 camera, and hopefully they're gonna try and eat the camera. With the 360 camera, we can reframe the shots in post-production, meaning that once I'm inside the shark's mouth, I can choose while I'm editing if I wanna aim at the back of the mouth, at the teeth, or wherever I want. If we were using normal action cameras, the shark could be just holding the camera towards the bottom of its mouth, it would be pitch black and we wouldn't see anything. Also, we're using a selfie stick on the camera because if we're using the camera without the selfie stick, there would be big chances that the sharks could actually swallow the entire camera. With the selfie stick, hopefully the shark is gonna spit it out and hopefully we're gonna get this unique footage. Through this film, I really wanna show people and make them understand that sharks aren't the deadly creatures that the medias are always portraying. They are amazing animals that have evolved for millions of years to become the absolute top predators that they are today. And the most amazing part of it is that despite being on the absolute top of the food chain, we can still get out there and safely dive and interact with them, which is absolutely breathtaking. The number one word I would use to describe the sharks that I work with is tolerant. 
There is no species of animal on earth that I feel would allow us to do what we do with these sharks and still be the way that they are. Tolerate us being in their environment, not even mind us, allow us to exist with them. It's really a magical thing. I cannot believe what just happened. We just had the most insane dive ever. I mean, we're just the three of us in the water. We had perfect conditions, perfect visibility, and we had four great hammerhead sharks. Among them, we had Gaia, which is the biggest hammerhead I had ever seen. She's also the biggest hammerhead around. And we also had Joker, the tiger shark. It was just mind blowing to see these two amazing species just swimming together. And it was actually one of my dream to be able to witness this one day. So. I am so, so, so happy right now. And it was super interesting also to see the difference in behavior between the two species because the hammerheads, they're like super elegant, super careful with what they do. But the tiger, she just didn't care. She was coming at us, super playful and literally trying to bite everything. She destroyed, like literally destroyed the 360 camera housing. I mean, the housing is like, we can't use it anymore but the, the camera inside is totally fine and the footage we got is just out of this world. With these new camera technologies, we can now get footage that were simply impossible to get just a few years ago. And images are a key element when it comes to ocean and shark conservation, because without images, the oceans would be slowly dying without anyone noticing. For me personally, I owe my whole entire life to sharks. Um, it's not only about my career and where I'm at today, which I completely owe to sharks as well, but it's also about the person that they taught me to be. Um, one very special lesson that they gave me is that even though you have the power to hurt somebody, you can still practice tolerance. And for that, I am eternally grateful. With projects like these, we can not only show people how beautiful and fascinating these animals are, but we can also explain that they are rapidly disappearing because of our impact. And hopefully, it will inspire people and create a whole new generation that is now seeing the ocean as a place of magic and beauty that must be respected. <laughs>